for now for the second instrument after seeing the counting law using the counting law we are uh, finding the end square range and fixed square range the second item of analysis is you have to find the warp and weft count as per the sample we require the mark mark the warp direction weft direction first you have to use the uh, finding the for finding the count we are using beasley's balance so this is the beasley's balance it is a very simple instrument now there is a knob here which is the knob by using first this hook there, there is no can the calibration scale there is no hook will be there now we have to adjust the calibration now for example i am uh, going to down that uh, the un unscrewing the uh, knob now this this pointer this is a fixed pointer and this is moving pointer now it is in the upward direction now my point of setting the before using the bc is balance i have to adjust this now whether unscrew or tighten the screw i have to make the the bc is balance point that, that uh, moving knob and the fixed knob fixed pointer should be in the same alignment this is the first step before using that now i have to again i have to uh, this is the first the thing you have to do before using the bc is balance no hook will be in the cavity it should be free this is the holding yarn holding holder this is the adjustment knob you you have to tight or unscrew by unscrewing or tightening the screw this point and this point of the pointer will be and coincides with the same line this is the first step now there are two types of hooks available this is the small hook and this is the big hook there are two types of hook you can use any type of hook usually we are going to use the small hook now after selecting selecting the hook i am going to put the hook here the business balance now after taking the hook and in the cavity i am going to put the hook so this is the point i am going to put the hook here after putting the hook the point will be getting downward direction the now now you have to prepare the samples now this is the i am marking this is the warp direction and this is the fifth direction in the cloth now if i am going to unravel the yarn from here like that you have to unravel like that here in the fabric and this is the weft yarn i am getting now this much of unraveling of the yarn i have made in the fabric this is the weft yarn similarly in the warp yarn also you unravel keep separately don't mix the warp and weft yarn so you keep separately warp separately the weft now you have to keep that now we are using the small hook you should remember you should cut the sample there are half cotton cotton linen worsted and wool system now half cotton means cotton system number of full cotton means number of 840 yards 1 lb that is an english count here 840 this 420 number of 420 yards you can measure similarly linen system is number of 5000 15600 yards weighs 1 pound similarly worsted system number of 560 yards weighs 1 lb this is a system now if we are going for cotton system the count will come ne that is english system now i am going in the english system i am not going for cotton because it 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 requires more length of yarn so i am i am using only this type of uh, this is the method now i am going to use this type of uh, system that is half cotton length this is the half cotton length like that i am providing this half cotton length you have to cut by scissor i am i am already making this in the same length of the cotton uh, that is half cotton weft yarn now the your your method is you can fold this in this in this point now you can keep the yarn like i am folding this now i am folding this and keep it here like you have to fold this i am keeping here so now it is being upper side so what do what you have to do you have to reduce the yarn number here i am taking another bunch now i am going to 
feed this into this 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 balance like that uh, and uh, how much you have to feed can you tell so until this pointer will it will coincide with the fixed pointer again it is going up again i am going to take some more bunch from the bunch of unraveled yarn which is a weft yarn so far similarly you can do for warp yarn the kind of lightly twist and you place the material here so that it will hang on the hook so still it is going moving up now again i am going to under reduce the number of yarn in the system until the pointer will again now again so now again i am moving so you have to lightly fold then only it will be hanging otherwise it will fall down now you can identify so this is the end, not the end point again you have to, to take two or three yarn from there are you able to understand until uh, the like a physical balance only porul evlavu poda mudiyum like that you have to make that one or two yarn again so this is one time la kandipa varadhu so now it is coinc now it is coincidence with the fixed pointer i think now this is the end point of your uh, count that is weft count you have found how to found this is how to find the count now you take it from the balance now you can count one by one this is the count number the yarn numbers this is one and this is second like that up to this punch how much yarn is in the bunch like that if it is going to come four like that you have to count five like that now after 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 this bunch is over now if the bunch count is can come come just 32 the count will be 32 so any so this is the method similarly you unravel the yarn from warp side that is in this direction you have to unravel like this the same thing you have to cut in the half cotton you need not set the balance because already you have set the balance cut it for this half cotton length again same procedure you have to follow every time the same procedure will be followed by five samples five samples you have to calculate and the average will be taken out for the um, calculation purpose okay now this is the beastless balance beastless balance again i am telling that you have to set the balance without hook i am removing this hook again again i am uh, explaining there are i am removing this hook now the balance is in the coincident way now unravel the yarn any length so small length this this is a 2 uh, inch length means some length you can unravel and you have to or bunch or 50 or 60 threads you can make it out and cut it cut it for the this length and keep it on one by one or or bunch you can keep it up if the pointer will move upside you can reduce the number of bunches here if the pointer already in the downside you can increase the number of threads here until that end point is this pointer will coincide with the fixed pointer that is the end point after getting that bunch one by one you count then final number after the bunch will be uh, number of threads in the final bunch will be equal to the number of count there are two hooks one is the if you are going for half pattern you are using the small hook this is the small hook and if you are going for uh, cotton you can use for bigger hook if you if you are using this type of in the type of cotton template that is cotton if it is written as cotton this length you are going to cut you should you use this type of big hook here this is this you to remember usually industry are using small type of hooks which will be consume lesser number of length of the thread so this is this hook is for half cotton and this hook is for full cotton Thank you.